renewable energy is not so new. It's actually much older than your grandpa. Then why till now you are experiencing the guilt of using the dirty fossil fuels? Actually, there is a dark history behind this. Throughout history, fossil fuels have been the fallback source of energy for our society. They have proven reliable at helping us achieve our goals and have been integral to the development of humanity. Like with all things, it is important for us to evolve and move on from this traditional source. Besides the fact that this dependence is partially responsible for the active destruction of Earth, it's long outdated by our current technological standards. We have seen the beneficial effects of renewable energy in the form of electric cars, solar power, wind power and so much more. In reality, the only reason fossil fuels are heavily relied upon still is due to their profitability and the domination fossil fuel companies have over the energy industry. When it comes to thinking about the future of our society, we need to look into our past to see why some advancements haven't been made despite already having the technology. With that in mind, allow me to tell you about the man who almost started a renewable energy revolution in 1878. In the April of 1825, a man by the name of Augustin Maujur was born in the small French town of Samour en auxius Though his parents had no idea at the time, he would grow up to be an one of the essential contributors to solar power. The beginning of Maujur's life was relatively standard and he eventually became a mathematics teacher in 1852. A bright man. He knew he was destined for more and began conducting research while also teaching. At the time, fossil fuels were a topic of discussion and Maochot worried, rightfully so, that these fuels would eventually run out. To counter this, he put heavy research into proof-of-concept designs that demonstrated the ability to use solar power as a source of energy. His early ideas were so groundbreaking that the French government gave him enough support to follow his idea full time. Maujot worked with the famous French inventors of the past who had experience with solar power and ended up producing the world's first parabolic solar collector. This device was actually developed 15 years before commercial electricity was even introduced and he even released a groundbreaking book with his research that outlined how to replicate his work. His work was criticized by some, but he continued to develop his invention. He traveled to the countryside where the sun stayed out longer and began to refine his techniques. Maujol returned to Paris in 1878 with an impressive solar concentrator that actually won a gold medal at the Universal Exhibition in Paris. His device was so advanced that he was able to make ice from solar power. Two ideas that seemed opposing to everyone at the time. Unfortunately for Major, capitalism did what it does best. Greed and profitability overtook the desire to research new ideas. And a free trade agreement between France and Britain was Major's downfall. As the price of coal dropped due to the deal and the emergence of the economies of transport, Fever supported Maujur due to the size and complexity of his inventions. Replicating them on an industrial scale would have cost for more money than simply relying on coal. And he soon faded into darkness as a result. An American inventor named Frank Schumann tried to replicate his ideas in 1913 and even created an area of collectors capable of pumping 23,000 liters of water per minute. However, the First World War broke out and his ideas were discarded. By the time the war ended, every country in the world was hooked on fossil fuels. The sad truth of the matter is that Maujur's wife ended up imprisoned and Maujur's personal items were reclaimed by creditors, living in alone and in the poverty at the time of his death. What should have been a revolution for the world did a complete 180 degree and landed us in a cycle of greed that has continued well into today. If the French government had simply invested in researching Maujur's ideas, who knows where humanity could be at today? 
As a whole, Earth likely wouldn't have seen the destruction that has been shaped on it during the research of fossil fuels. An energy crisis may not have happened. Make no mistake, renewable energy needs to be the future, otherwise humanity will have nothing left. Nikolai Kardashev understood this when he created his famous Kardashev scale in 1964, which measures a civilization's advancements based on energy consumption. Fossil fuels are an example of an energy source that has a limit. We can only pull so much power from these sources as they are stored forms of energy, whereas renewable energies pose relatively limitless amounts. There is no doubt that renewable energy needs to be the wave of the future and small steps are being taken now to move away from fossil fuels. However, it begs the question of whether or not this awareness has come too late. Humanity had the possibility to go renewable back in the late 1800s, but chose instead to get caught in the current of fossil fuels. Even when his work was replicated and available to all, no inventors were able to make their ideas stick due to the domination that formed over the energy industry. As far as today's goes, Elon Musk is a well-known pioneer for renewable energy and advocates heavily for using solar power to transform the world. Make no mistake, the reason governments aren't jumping at these opportunities is that the fossil fuel companies that have held a monopoly for so long fight back against this potential loss in profits. At the end of the day, humanity is often a thorn in our own sides. We refuse advancements because small numbers of our population slow those advancements in favor of retaining their current will. However, I am curious what you think of Augustine Maucher's story. Does it fascinate you to know we are so close to renewable energy so long ago? Or does it not surprise you at all? Let me know your thoughts below.